Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World where we do reviews. But tonight, or I should say we're in the wee hours of the morning, of Sunday morning. So happy Sunday. Happy, 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 happy Sunday. And I want to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel, past, present, and future. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for solidifying me with 3,000 subs on my YouTube channel. That is an accolade. Yay! Woohoohoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's no me without you and no you without me. Okay, when we get down on these streets and talk about celebrity entertainment gossip news, when it's uh, favoring the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Merit to Medicine, and etc., etc., etc. Okay. This is the house to come to when you want to get real, real, real family affair type of sit down talks. And we're discussing trending topics, but won't tarry too long because I'm getting tired and um, I'm kind of losing my train of thought. So I think it's time for me to go to bed because I am taping this at one or two a.m. Eastern Standard Time on in the week hours of Sunday morning. So when you wake up, whether you're looking at it in the morning, afternoon or evening, uh, enjoy this video uh, it's the results polling for December 1st through December 7th and again I want to thank you for my 3,000 subs and moving forward so 3,000 plus let's get, get it okay but let's get on into those polling questions that I had asked you to partake of uh, during last week up to the week ending on Saturday which was the 7th Okay, the first polling question was, do you think Todd is having trouble bonding with baby Blaze Tucker as Candy has expressed to social media? Well, it was pretty much tied. Some people thought he was having trouble um, bonding and being around um, baby Blaze for what uh, awkward reason. I don't know why it is his biological daughter, even though someone else carried the baby. Maybe he was just missing that, uh, being able to bond with the mother of his child which is candy and watching her glow every day and you know go about her normal day and him watching the baby perform in her life uh it was with rod i'm not riley but um baby eight so i don't know then um like i said it was split down the middle some of you thought that no he's doing just fine just is what it is that's just how a man goes so um the next polling question was, do you think Todd and Candy are having marital issues? Well, an overwhelming response of you all said yes, they are. <laughs> and I think we just get it because she was speaking real frankly about him on her social media platform, um, speak on it or Candy online. Uh, they were having a discussion. They She brought it to the forefront of social media, the world pretty much, asking us uh, after listening to both of their sides who we felt was right, who we felt was wrong. Um, I think they both had valid points of uh, talk about just feeling like, I guess, overwhelmed. And he felt like he was being stifled, meaning it was just overwhelming to him because now he in a sense he has three kids he has still Kayla he has baby Ace and now he has baby Blaze to provide for and I don't know maybe he was feeling some kind of way he just felt he needed to party he needed to spread his wings and fly <laughs> Woo! But either way, Candy felt otherwise. She felt that since it was the first week the baby was home, he needed to be bonding with the baby just as much as she was. She needed him there, and that's all she was paying attention to. She didn't care what he felt, how he felt. She felt that both parents, which was him and her, needed to be there bonding with their baby girl. Okay, but um, let me see. Uh, well, you know, 100% of you all said that, yeah, they were having marital issues. And I really felt that Candace shouldn't have brought it on the forefront. Maybe it's just increasing her storyline of what she's building for season 12 for us to partake of. Because I did see or they did show us a little clip where she was getting, um, I want to say into Todd, but she was like, having a true discussion with him about what is he doing with all these businesses 
that he's having and she's not really finding any revenue being produced of those businesses you know she's wanting to know what's going on you know just like she has accountability or she has to make her workers that work for her accountable for their actions on you know she's giving them free way free a wave wait a minute call a free way of doing things just as long as they get to doing the business at hand so uh it's like free will to do it however you choose to do it and nobody's micromanaging micromanaging you looking over your shoulder saying we're just taking care of just taking care of she probably just feels like um she hired certain people to do certain things and they have to be accountable for her when she asks and she probably get them deadlines to uh, report back to her on certain things on an ongoing basis and if they're doing their job she's seeing revenue then cool all the way around she don't have to micromanage she don't have to come look you up and see what's going on but it seems like she's having to have to do that with Todd because I'm pretty sure more than likely she's financed uh, a lot if not all of his ventures his business ventures and um, she's not really seeing it come up to what she invested because you know that's just like saying if she give you um say forty thousand dollars to invest in a business and she wants to just put one percent or two percent of interest added to that for what she really gave you initially that's not too much to ask for you know she's just trying to make sure everything's coming back what she's putting in then some and i just don't think the business or businesses um, Todd has tried to talk her into that would be um, a money maker for them and their family has come to fruition so she's kind of seeming like she's a little frustrated with you know the comings and goings of his business dealings and they're not being uh, shown profitable so well, I think that'll probably be the last or probably the last episode or next to the last they just always wait to the very end to give us the big ones you know and then they start cutting up during the reunion and trying to you know say this that and the third but if she don't watch herself she's gonna be uh ex Mrs. uh Mrs. something going back well she already goes and use her um name anyway on everything and we know her as Canterbury so it's not like we recognize her as um, Candy Burris Tucker or Candy Tucker. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But I wish them well. Hopefully they it can be salv salvageable. But if Todd's now in 110%, like she's trying to give her 110%, it's not going to work anyway. But anyway, I don't think she's going to be um, bad and not want it. Well, er everything that's going to be bad for her is going to come through her mother. <laughs> You know, Mama Joyce gonna be like, "Girl, I told you, I told you, one lie will give you a whole lot of pain down the road." Cause he's just gonna keep going on with the lies and on with the lies and on with the lies. A playboy is a playboy; they don't change unless they want to change. And half the time, looking at how she evaluated Todd Tucker, she said he ain't gonna change. He gonna always make a fool out of you. And if you wanna be played a fool, okay. But I'm gonna be watching the money too, honey. I'm gonna be watching the money cause you got you got baby Riley. Riley come first from all the other kids come. Then of course you know she gonna put baby Ace up in there. And Kayla gonna fall somewhere, somewhere, honey. Maybe before Kayla, but then again, not Kayla before Blaze, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, how tall I got it going on? She, he don't want uh, Candy doing nothing for his baby girl, but she's supposed to be her stepmom. So I'm like, Ugh, I don't know how that's going on. But if you giving Todd money, Candy, you need to give Kayla some money too. She cut half of his out and give more to her. Okay, because okay? he's supposed to be doing for himself. He's supposed to have all these businesses, and like you're checking him. I'm sure on an upcoming episode, they ain't being fruitful. Okay, but anyway, going back from that uh, polling question, yeah, Candy, if you keep putting your business out on front street uh you're gonna have more than enough opinions to um work through or cipher through and it's gonna be detrimental to your um marriage so kind of watch out for that go to counseling off camera and and you know off social media and todd did express that you stay on social media too much it's just like a drug for you so i don't know maybe you're not listening to him and he's not listening to you so get it together if you want to stay together Okay, um, but um, that polling question was asked, do you think Todd and Candy are headed for a divorce? 34% um, of you all said yes, while 66% said no. 
Okay, moving on to the next polling question. It said on last night or last Sunday's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, do you think King was extremely rude and wrong to how she was talking to Cynthia at her barbecue luncheon? Well, an overwhelmingly 74% of you all said, yes, she was rude to Cynthia, while 26% of you all said, no, King was not rude to Cynthia. Anybody that had eyes to see and ears to hear, damn, King was more than overly rude. She was downright degrading type rude. So, uh, but like I said, none of my friends on the show, my opinion only, because like I said, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't treat your friend that way. And your friend, unless they were very, very heated with you, they wouldn't cut you off. They would let you finish your whole sentence in its entirety. And hell, they might be asking you, you got anything to say? <laughs> you know, after they finish talking and they don't talk themselves silly dry, then you can, you know, say what you felt about what they expressed to you. But see, that's what true friends do. They don't, and, and true, true friends ain't going to let it get to that point. They're going to stop you, cut you off at the path before you even go down a road where you finna uh, find yourself disrespecting them okay but um yeah that's what y'all felt about that the next polling question was asked do you think nene missed being at cynthia's daily barbecue annually event an overwhelming of uh percentage of you 64 percent said yes while 36 excuse me 36 percent of you all said no and i you know nini really just miss taping and she likes to hear herself talk and she likes to be the grand dame of the event so if anything is not centered around her she's not gonna really favor it you know she's gonna be like half lackluster doing uh being seen at the event because it's not her event but when it's her event she's walking around all lively all everything's lovely all the birds are chirping the sky is beautiful but that's only in her events but when she's being at someone else's events she's kind of like very uh into herself um very introverted type demeanor or behavior she's giving people and it's just like you know, I don't want to be here. I was asked to come. I'm just supporting. That's it. You know, humdrum type of personality. But, um, yeah, that's what y'all said. 64% said, yes, she missed being there. Uh, move, moving on to the next polling question. It was asked, do you think Nene missed taping with the other women instead of her trying to be a loner and picking and choosing who she want to take with? And, you know, the, 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 uh, the, um, the group of people that she find herself taping with are not even worth taping with, uh, you know, in a sense, because they're not really being a part of the bigger picture. And everybody's there solidifying that Nene is right in the scenario. And it's just unequally yoked. So um, 60 percent of you all said um, y'all felt that Nene missed taping with the other women, while 40 percent of you all said no, she was good on her own. And the last and final polling question was asked, do you think Cynthia would ever learn to take up for herself on this reality show with these women as her colleagues? Well, honey, it was very close because 55% of you all said, yes, Cynthia will learn to take up for herself on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Why 45% of you all said, no way. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen baby <laughs> Woo! we can wish we can hope and we can pray but to go up against nene you gotta have somebody like kenya moore you gotta have somebody like marlo hampton um who else shoot that would give her a run for her money Eva could, but like I said, she don't stay uh, I'm pregnant enough to try to, you know, give some substance of some good reading, you know, some good body uh, language type of shading going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like she's such in a delicate state. She don't want to uh, affect her aura. You know, she's carrying a child. She don't want to, you know, all that stuff. And I get it. When you're carrying a child, you want to stay as calm as possible because, you know, your blood pressure can elevate. You can get dizzy. You can just get into another whole realm. 
realm of health issues that you don't really want to get into. And they tell you when you're at your pretty much last trimester to stay calm, cool, and collected. Don't go and exert yourself. Don't get in a, a, a negative uh, environment or energies around you because it's going to only upset you and cause you to have high blood pressure. Um, maybe make the baby come sooner than what they need to be coming, you know, not going the full duration of the pregnancy because of stressful moments and this and that. And third. So I get Eva, but I'm like, Eva, can you give us one? I'm begging you, honey, just one season. If you get another season on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, can you not be pregnant? Can we just see the side of Eva just enjoying life, being around her? current kids and not trying to get pregnant again i mean can you just give your body one year off okay and give us that one year where we see what eva is working with okay not the lion not the backpedaling popping uh backstabbing uh lady we're seeing now okay we want to be able to attack you like you're attacking you know women but you're trying to get a pass because you're pregnant so we want to relinquish that you know let you be full-fledged not without childbearing and give us something that we can see if you are um watchable or need to be watched on this show because right now you ain't giving me nothing girl you ain't giving me nothing Woo, but how you want to throw your hands out there throw some rocks hit the uh, tender target but then take everything back like you ain't did nothing you know like my hands are clean my hands are clean when you know your hands are dirty and bloody okay but that's all i had for the polling uh results uh questions that were asked for the week of december 1st through December 7th, uh, we'll put out more polling questions sometime today that will stretch again uh, throughout the week. And you can answer them at your leisure um, and comment in the comment section and, and just interact with one another. Same as you can with each video, you can comment and, you know, speak what's on your mind and uh, just do it respectfully, as I said, um, and interact with the rest of the people that are trying to be team whoever, you know what I'm saying? And maybe nobody, they're like, kind of like me. I ain't on nobody's team. I'm just looking for the ones that can give me drama, field, you know, mindless drama, entertainment, you know? And we just salute them who was the MVP who, you know, showed out that particular episode, you know? Because like I said, Friends don't treat friends how they act on these reality shows, and especially the ones that I'm privy to uh, review, which is Real Housewives of Atlanta and um, Married to Medicine. You just don't treat friends like that. You really don't. I don't care how much money you try to make out in the world. Money can't buy you love. Money can um, solidify friendships. Only thing money can be is an ends to a means or a means to an end. Um, like, you know, you need to pay your bills as far as, you know, all your utilities, your rent, your car note. Those are the basic needs that you need to take care of. And the rest of them, you know, what are you doing? Flaunting for your friends, showcasing in front of your friends, showing them what you have, uh, what you don't attain, but you can't take it nowhere but only in this world. And if you don't pay taxes on it, it's taken back from you. Even though you don't pay the last car note, got the uh, title, you don't got your mortgage paid off, got the deed to it. You don't pay them taxes that come every year. You ain't got neither that car nor that home. All right. So I'm just speaking truth to you. So um, keep that in mind when you're picking these um, adventures or ventures you're partaking in. Um far as in the world of entertainment if you trying to be out there being in the entertainment as a um not as a youtube content creator because we can come and go you know but some of it is their livelihood but this is not my livelihood this is my supplemental income that i'm putting with my current income that i get um but I'm just saying for people that really want to be in the entertainment business that want to be employed on these type of shows by being entrepreneurs and going out there and going through the whole, um, what do you call it, casting interview process and getting on these shows, you know, it just all really depends on, you know, whether you want to sell your soul to the highest bidder, you want to sit up there and do crazy things that you normally wouldn't do in your life. Uh, span or in your life or how you set up your life to be your demeanor your character uh your essence of who you are you know if you go out and you play these parts you know like 
you know, we all know that no, no, that these reality shows are really not reality shows. They're like scripted, performed out um, sitcom shows that they want you to be a part of. And then they want you to put your spin on that particular character that they them that they have uh, developed for you to enact in a sense. So, it what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's it what it is. Just be cautious when you go into the entertainment field to see how much you're going to have to give of yourself that you normally wouldn't portray a negative or a villain type of character when you know that's not you on the outside. Because people are going to believe what they see on an everyday basis. They're going to feel like you're like that, you know. Because like I said, it is promoted as a reality show so people gonna just like if you acting foul and crazy and, and acting like nonchalant like you don't care about nobody you ready to cuss everybody out people gonna appreciate that you may be that way uh in real life and it just is what it is okay but that's all i had to say i kind of care carried on a little bit longer than i anticipated this night <laughs> It is here what it is, y'all. I'm just happy that I got to 3,000, and that's good because I had left my YouTube channel. I had started it, I think, in hmm, it's 2016, 2016 or 17. I can't remember, but if you look under my community feed, you probably can tell because it should be dated um, when I started it. Because I think I started when I was 48, so it was three years ago, 49, 50, 51. Yeah, so that was so we were at 2019. 18, 17. No, I started in 2017. Okay. I thought it was 16. But anyway, and then I kind of let it go for like six months uh, because I just, you know, I didn't really feel like I wanted to do it. I, I, I was just in another whole train of thinking and, and world and uh, whatever. So anyway, I kind of said, well, you know, I put a lot of money and some equipment, this, that, and third. So I need to try to make it work, see where it can go, this, that, and the third. And Less than a month and a half, you know, I really grew, you know, and I really appreciate you all um, loving on me because, like I said, I don't ask you for anything as far as Patreon and Super Chats and stuff like that. I don't get down like that because I think everybody need their money and they need to put their money on themselves and their family members instead of endorsing you know, content creators, but that's just my feel on it. You know what I'm saying? People need help. They need help or whatnot. But if you're going to be on a platform, you should be able to get your own equipment and entertain, you know, your um, viewers or whatnot. And whatever you reap from that, that's something you did with the help of your followers or, or viewers or however you all see you all selves to me. I see you as family, of course, because, you know, y'all treat me like family. I talk to me crazy and everything else. I talk to y'all crazy and everything else, but that's what family do. But at the end of the day, we love on each other. OK, and we support each other, you know, when we can and how we can. But that's all I had, guys. I am fin to go and lay my head down. Yes, I'm going to say my prayers and get on in this bed. And I will see y'all next video. Y'all know the Real Housewives of Atlanta coming up in a couple, well, several hours from now. So make sure you get your uh, eat on. And so you sitting at that t table. Because I'll be sitting there with y'all looking at that, making my notes and coming back trying to get on the tube and give y'all my perspective. Okay, but y'all be blessed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.